Hello guys and welcome back to another monthly upload. I know that everybody's probably asking where the fuck have you been <laughs> for the last month, but I don't know, life? Yeah, the PTB has just released and with Whiskers here, his new ability that I've been seeing from the gameplay looks pretty badass, I'm not gonna lie. I'm really excited about this new chapter when they announced it, um, it's really cool. But anyways, I'm gonna be doing Adept on the Killer and Survivors today. For his first perk, we're gonna have Superior Anatomy when a survivor performs a fast vault within 8 meters of you this perk activates and the next time that you vault a window your vaulting speed is increased by 35 percent and this perk also has a 30 second cooldown for our next perk we're going to have awakened awareness when carrying a survivor you can see the auras of the other survivors within 16 meters of your position or is revealed that way they stay visible for two seconds after you stop carrying the survivor and for our last perk we're going to have terminus when the exit gates are powered this perk activates while terminus is active injured down all the hook survivors are inflicted with the broken status effect until the exit gates are open when the exit gates are open survivors will stay broken for an additional 25 seconds but yeah anyways i think that pretty much wraps it up for whiskers here and i think we're gonna go ahead and get into a match three hours later i'm not even kidding the queue times for this match did take hours all right we are in on midwich elementary school let's get it all right whiskers we're gonna see if this power will be able to break the door oh i guess you can't break the doors with the power okay i hear i'm working on a gen in here oh hello Oh my god, yo! Just fucking slams him in the air. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> yo, what the fuck? I drop fucking assassinated bitch ass. Oh, <laughs> dude, the voice lines are fucking badass. Shut the fuck up. I hear you in here. There you are. I'll see if I can fucking slam you too. Oh, damn it. I fucked that up. It feels a little buggy when you ready up the power. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go break the pallet. All right, we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> Claude, I went through the fucking wall. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, oh. You fucked up. You done fucked it. Oh, shit. Body slam, bitch. Oh, dude. Oh, okay. And then we get... Okay, we get a grab. Okay. That's fucking awesome. You know, to be honest, I feel like the survivors... If he's getting, like, a dash like this, I feel like survivors should get, like, a fucking dodge perk or something like that to, like, be able to evade the fucking dash. That only makes sense. Hello. Yeah. Come here, Cheryl. A fucking rubber band. Oh, yeah. Gonna try to fucking... Help me! Oh. Okay. Alright. I'll just... <laughs> you fucked it. You oh. fucked it. Alright, I can see their auras. They're outside in the courtyard. I'm gonna see if I can can't get them here. Oh, yes! <laughs> Dude, the fucking... The body slam in the air shit. That stuff is fucking crazy. I'm surprised it wouldn't, like, make collision with, like, the wall behind you or something like that. I'm just gonna set her down really quick. Man, I like the animation for that. Come here. Yep, let's finish this shit. Dude, the chase music is so fucking good. Now, let me see if I can't get her through this and hit. Yeah, okay. Right on. I know, I'm a cunt. I'm really fucking curious on, like, what this looks like when you fucking do this on the survivor side i'm so curious yeah sure i hear you down here don't worry sure i won't let you feel all left out put you try to dash on you again uh what the fuck was that cheryl i'm gonna break the pallet real quick she's going right back to the room i'm gonna try to dash on her again all right she okay fucking in the locker again yep yep that's what you get <laughs> Look at him all Try me, bitch. down there while I hit her. I fucking hear you in here. Yeah. I'm gonna fake this real quick. Come back. I think I got her. Yep. Yeah. Man, I love being a cunt. Claude, where are you going? Hold on, let me just kill you real quick. Come back. Don't you want to pet my whiskers? Fuck off. Oh, yeah, fucked it up. This is how you get canceled. Goddamn fucking survivors trying to meme on me. Yeah, get fucked. 
Hello, Claudette. Let's get her out of the way real quick. Oh, don't worry. I'm coming for you. Don't worry. Yeah. Where the fuck is this person? I've been, like, going back and forth. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Fucking finally. Let me try to... I'm going to try to dash on her real quick so she can't get it. Get over here! Fuck yeah. That's what you get for memeing on whiskers. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's what you get, bitch. Oh, yeah. All right, and for Rebecca Chambers, her first perk is going to be Hyper Focus. After hitting a great skill check while repairing or healing, this perk gains one token, and it goes up to six tokens. Each token increases the chance of the skill check by 2%, and the skill check cursor speed by 4%, and the bonus progression for the great skill checks by 20% of the base value. Her next perk is going to be Better Than New. Upon completing a healing action on another survivor, the targeted survivor gets a 6% speed boost for repairing generators, healing, opening chests, and cleansing totems for 30 seconds. And for our last perk, we have Reassurance. Within a 6 meter radius around a hook survivor, use the active ability to pause their struggle progression for 20 seconds. If they're on the struggle phase, it also pauses the struggle skill checks and Reassurance has a 40 second cooldown. Alright, we got good old whiskers coming. We're gonna go ahead and run to this pallet real quick. Alright. Yep. All right, gonna go back this way. Pallet drop. Little head shakes, little head shakes. Yeah, you know. Man, I feel like he's getting really irritated that I keep touching that gen. I'm gonna loop him on this real quick. Which way he's coming? He's coming left. All right, gonna go back. Let's see if I can't go around one more time. Still coming around. He's trying his dash. Missed. He fucked it up, it looks like. He's gonna fuck off. Yeah, it looks like he's fucking off. He's coming back. Stop! <laughs> Dude, bro, don't even give a fuck about the gen. He just fucking went around. I'm gonna try a 360 here. Oh, I fucked it up. Bro, I'm not getting off this fucking gen, man. I'm gonna come back around and I'm gonna tap the gen just to fucking piss him off. Get the fuck off, Oh my god. Uh, Dude, Wesker's fucking uh, dash sounds so aggressive. I love it. I'm gonna try to loop him as long as I can around this. Uh, Actually, I might have to drop it on this time. Yeah. You have some fucking tea bags just for you, Whiskers. Um, I plan to, to like loop him a lot longer around that, but fuck it. Let's see how long I can do it around this table. Uh, Whiskers, what the fuck are you doing? I think anything that he touches, like if he's like really close on an object, he can't do any like he can't dash because of the collision on it. All right, I'm gonna go up in this building, jump to this. Looks like he fucked off. All right. Where did he go? Oh, he fucking DC'd. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even going to cap, but Ada, like, looks amazing. Like, I might main her in the future, but... Anyways, for our first perk, we're going to have reactive healing. When another survivor loses a health state within 32 meter radius around you while you're injured, you instantly increase your healing progression by 25% of the missing healing progression. For our next perk, we're going to have low profile. When you become the last survivor, this perk activates and hides your scratch marks from pulls of blood for 70 seconds. For our last perk, we're going to have wiretap. After repairing generators for at least 33%, this perk activates and after repairing a generator for at least 3 seconds, you press the ability to install a wiretap, which stays active for 60 seconds. I did play an offering for Cold Wind Farm, so yeah, we know what map it is. Let's get it. I think he is coming over to this gen right now. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he saw me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and vault. I'm wondering if he tried the ability on the door. He probably did. BJ, I'm always saving your ass. i going to spray you down here real quick. I like this animation. This actually looks pretty fucking dope. I hear him coming. I'm going to take some hits right now. I'm just going to block. BJ's gonna block. <laughs> uh, we're not letting you have that fucking hook, bro. Here I go, saving your ass again. Man, I really want to see what this wiretap does, but, like, I can't get him to kick the generator so I can, like, see what it does. Man, at this point, I just feel like I'm saving everybody's ass, and I still haven't got to see what this fucking shit does. Does he see me? Oh, okay. No, he don't see me. I'm gonna get back on this fucking generator. Fuck yeah, finally. Fucking devour hope. I know about you, but I'm about to go find this totem. I gotta find this fucking totem before he kills us. Man, where the fuck is it? I think I finally fucking found it. Let me just get it real quick. Oh wait, I hear the hatch. Never mind. Fuck this. Yeah, I fucking found it. Hell yeah. 
Hi, bitch. We out of here. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to do it for the PTB on Project W. But thank you guys so much for tuning back in. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Until next time, it's been your boy Toxic Shinobi. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.